Linear motion is the motion along a straight path. For example, the propagation of light in a vacuum and free fall. Distance is defined as the length of the path between two points, whereas displacement is defined as the distance traveled in a specific direction or the shortest path that connects two points in a specific direction. Both has an SI unit of meter. To measure distance or displacement along a straight line, we can use the meter rule, measuring tape or laser distance meter. Similarly, to measure the distance or displacement along a curved line, we can use the distance measuring wheel. Speed is defined as the rate of change of distance or the distance covered in unit time of a moving object. Every speed is the rate of change of total distance travel of an object. Both have the SI unit of meter per second. For example, what is the student's speed from point O to P if he walks a distance of 18 meters from point O to P in 36 seconds? We can conclude that the distance from point O to P is 18 meters. The time taken is 36 seconds. So, speed is equals to distance over time. Hence, 18 meter over 36 seconds are equals to 0.5 meter per second. What is the student's speed from P to Q if he walks a distance of 24 meter from point P to Q in 40 seconds? We can conclude that the distance from P to Q is 24 meter and time taken is 40 seconds. So, speed is equals to distance over time. Hence, 24 meter over 40 seconds are equals to 0.6 meter per second. Finally, what is the student's average speed as he walks from O to Q? We can conclude that the total distance from O to Q is 42 meter and total time taken is 76 seconds. So, the average speed is equals to total distance traveled over total time taken. Hence, 42 meter over 76 seconds are equals to 0.55 meter per second. Velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement. Velocity equals displacement over time. And the velocity of an object is its speed in a fixed direction. Where velocity equals distance moved in a fixed direction over time taken. The average velocity is the rate of change of the total displacement travel. So, average velocity equals the total displacement over total time taken. In short, both velocity and average velocity have the same SI unit of meter per second. For example, what is the initial velocity of a student? If a student walks 6 meters to the north for 2 seconds and rests for 4 seconds, initial velocity equals the displacement over time as his displacement is 6 meter and time taken is 2 seconds, his initial velocity will be 6 meter over 2 seconds, which equals to 3 meter per second. What is the final velocity of the student if he continue to walk 8 meter to the east in 4 seconds? Final velocity equals the displacement over time, as his displacement 
is 8 meter and time taken is 4 seconds. His final velocity will be 8 meter over 4 seconds, which equals to 2 meter per second. Finally, what is the student's average velocity? Average velocity equals the total displacement over total time taken. Therefore, his total displacement will be the sum of square root of 6 square and 8 square, which equals to 10 meter. His total time taken will be 2 seconds plus 4 seconds plus 4 seconds, which equals to 10 seconds. To sum up, his average velocity will be 10 meter over 10 seconds, which equals to 1 meter per second.